Most often than not, it's very difficult to get into something if you're new at it, especially in the fragrance game. Most people will walk up to the counter at Macy's, Dillard's, or stores like that, Saks Fifth Avenue, and you walk up to the counter and you ask, hey, what's new, what's popular? And they'll pull out one to three fragrances, they'll have a little card, they'll spray it on there for you, and they go, here you go, this is very popular. And you smell, you know, one, two, three, you'll smell it, you like this one, you don't like this one, and you'll pick one right off of the top notes, and voila, you're out a hundred plus dollars. In this video, I will show you how you can get three amazing smelling fragrances for $100. You'll smell great and you'll get more bang for your buck. Now for some of you, of course, $100 is not gonna be a lot. For some of you, it will be. If you're the kind of person $100 is not a lot for, then this video might not be for you. However, stick around. There might be a choice in here you haven't purchased yet. And who knows, you might like it. After all, my grandfather used to say, a dollar saved is a dollar earned. My goal is to have at least three fragrances for a hundred dollars and you can kind of mix and match these as you prefer. At least I think it'll work. The first one you can go out and get if you have a hundred bucks to spend and you want to smell great is a 2003 fragrance from Calvin Klein and it is Perry Ellis and it's the red one. This one is from 2003 and came in at like $20 at online sellers, 20 bucks for 100 ml. Now, of course, the bottle is not, you know, the most unique. It is unique, I guess, but it does look a little bit on the, yeah, you know, cheesier side. However, the fragrance in here on its own actually smells a lot like Aqua Di Gio from Armani. And this one, as you know, if you buy it online, still going to fetch a pretty good dollar. But these smell very, very close to each other. And actually the longevity and protection on this one is going to be around the medium range. Online on Fragrantica, this one has a total number of 4.13 points out of five, which is not bad for something that costs you $20. The next one is also going to be a superstar in the bargain department. Now, if you like it a little bit heavier and you think this is maybe a little bit too fresh and you like a little bit of a deeper scent, maybe something you can go out in, then the next one is by Calvin Klein and it is CK1 and it is the Shock. Now this one smells exactly as if you were going to take Dolce & Gabbana the one. If you take this with Burberry London, if you, have, if you were to put these two together, you would get CK1 Shock. It also has a little bit better uh, longevity than the Perry Ellis because it has its darker notes. And this one comes out at 4.08 on Fragrantica out of five. CK1 Shock is sort of like these two. Also this one, you can get this one right around $20. A lot of times on online sellers. CK1 Shock, great choice if you like it a little bit deeper, a little bit sweeter. My next two fragrances will remind you of a well-known sort of pineapple bergamot star. Yes, I could have gone with Mont Blanc, which is also available for a pretty good price, but I used Mont Blanc the other day in a starting at $250 if you wanted to start over with your fragrance collection with $250. I used it in that one, so I didn't want to use it here. It doesn't quite fit in the under $100 categories. But if you're interested in that video, I will link it in the top for you so you can watch it if you were to start over with $250. But if you like the DNA of Mont Blanc Explorer or the DNA of, you know, the Aventus, then the next two are really great bargains. The first one I'm going to have is La Venture by Al Haramein. I actually wore this one yesterday and believe it or not, I got a compliment at the very morning when I, when I wore this because I haven't worn it in a long time and I wanted to see how does it actually perform since it's been a while since I wore it. And I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sprays on this one yesterday. So it was quite potent in the morning. And my first person that I met said, hey, it smells a little strong when you first walk by, but as it lingers in the air, they absolutely loved it. And of course, it's strong because I had just spread it. It was around eight in the morning. Then in the afternoon, I went somewhere to pick up another bargain bottle for you that I haven't had in a while, and they happened to have one. I'll show you in a minute. And as I was buying that one, the lady at the checkout counter, as I was buying this one, the other one that I'm getting ready to show you, said, I have to tell you, sir, you smell absolutely fabulous. And it was La Venture by Al Haramein. 
This one also comes in right at $20, $25. You can get this one online and it smells a lot like the Creed Aventasis. This one is a little bit more on the fresher, more tart side at the beginning, but as it dries down, it gets closer and closer and closer. Now, Mont Blanc also smells like that one, but this is a better bargain if you like the fresher uh, side of the Aventus. So LaVenture came out in 2016 and online the score for this one is a 4.26 out of 5. Once again, a really good score for something that you can pick up for a relatively low price. The next one is also along the line of the bergamot pineapple thing and it's Banana Republic's sort of version of that scent. This one is black walnut and it's legend. Now just make sure that you don't get the one from 2006. It's a much deeper fragrance, it's not this one. It has to say black walnut and it has to say legend on here. Legend also comes in right at the 4.36 I believe or something like that online out of five. Very good score and the longevity and protection out of these two, uh, I believe Al Haramein comes ahead just a little bit on the longevity versus the black walnut. I actually like the way this one dries down as well. Both of these dry down really nice on my skin. Just make sure, like I said, don't get the 2006 version. Actually, I'm gonna give this one a spray. It's been a while. Now this one's not going to have the tart opening from the very beginning that the LaVenture does. It's going to be a little bit smoother from the get-go. However, it doesn't quite last as long as the LaVenture does. But you know, for the price that you can get this one at, I think I bought this bottle right here at like a Burlington or something. They had like a whole bunch of them. And that's back in the day when I got all of the ones from Banana Republic. And I really enjoyed this one. I was surprised at how well it performs and how good it smells on the skin. The next one that I have is also going to remind some of you of a fragrance, or at least it reminded me of a fragrance. And I just recently found this one uh, online quite a bit, and it is Hugo Boss Reversed. It comes in at about 125 milliliters for around $25 or something like that. It's a 2018 fragrance, and when I first smelled this one, it reminds me of a fragrance by Nishane, and it's Hatsivat. Now, of course, this fragrance is much more potent. You, sp you spray hot sivat on your clothes, it'll be there for like a week. Uh, it's a you know concentrate. So hot sivat also goes for you know, around $200, much more than this one right here will. But in the air and close up, they really do smell somewhat similar. It definitely reminds me of each other. Now, the Hugo Boss Reverse is not going to be anywhere near beastly as hot sivat. However, it does smell in that neighborhood. So if you like that fragrance and you would like to get something that is a little bit better priced, Hugo Boss Reversed, and it's 125 milliliter, so you can, it's got a little bit less of durability, so you can wear, spray it a little bit more, 125 mil. And like I said, this Hugo Boss is worth the 30 bucks or whatever it was for 125 milliliter. The next two, Actually, you know what? Let's do the one that I could think you can get for a really good price. The one I was picking up is a Versace that you can get for about $21 and it smells very youthful and you can wear this one to go out in. And it is Versace Blue Jeans. This one came out in 1994 and has a plethora of notes in it. Actually, when I saw this one, I used to wear this one back in the day for a little while. Oh, you hear that? Kind of squeaky. And I really enjoyed it. So I saw that at the store the other day and it was for $21. And I was like, you know what? I got to get it again. And I had forgotten how much I actually liked this scent. It's very fresh and bright at the very beginning when you spray it. it. Has some lavender in it, a little bit of iris. When you see this one out there, just go ahead and pick up a bottle for $21. I went a few days before and I saw one. I didn't pick it up. I went back, it was gone. And I went to a different location and they happened to have one. So I bought it. $21, this is a great little scent. And you know, it's cute. Now it's only a 75 mil, so I guess if you were to get 100, I don't know if they make these in 100, it would just be a little bit more, $25 or something. But great deal, fits right into our budget for $100. So anyway, I just kind of squeezed this one in there since I just picked it up. The first two, like I said, were a little bit more on the designer side. The second two were a little bit more on the niche side. Before we go into our next two, this would be a great time for you to leave a like if you're getting anything out of this at all. Maybe even subscribe for some more fragrance content. I would love to have you on board. And now I wanna thank you in advance and we'll move right on to our next two. 
And yes, the next one has been in many, many lists with notes like rum, it's this spicy amber, has some incense in it, there's a little bit of leather in it. It's definitely a masculine scent. Comes in at a 4.13 out of five on like Fragrantica, as far as the scoring is concerned. And it is Bentley for Men Intense. A beautiful niche kind of fragrance that lasts all day. It's very loud. It's something for someone, you know, who perhaps likes to wear cowboy hats. If you like cowboy hats, then this is the fragrance for you. It's a manly scent, kind of niche quality with some nice leather and rum. And it comes in, you know, right at $25 or $30 for a 100 milliliter bottle. Strong, powerful, masculine scent. The next one is also a favorite of mine. It's a really lovely fragrance. And most of the time I wear this next one when I want to relax personally in my house. It is beautiful, it is unique, it has a stunning bottle design, and it is Lalique Pour Homme from 1997. I mean, look at this gorgeous lion head. Actually, you're supposed to have it this way. You can see it even better this way. It's hollowed out in here. It's actually like carved out. You know, Lalique is a glass designer. But if you look at this gorgeous little bottle right here, absolutely wonderful. You're going to have hints of iris in this one. It's a true, treat for your nose. Some people say it reminds them of Bois de Portugal from Creed. But you know, if you have it, let me know what you think of this one. I absolutely adore this one and I love wearing it just to chill at the house by myself. It's absolutely gorgeous. But let me know in the comments what you think. These are my fragrances. Now you can mix and match these. Most of them were between 20 and $30. So you can get three of them and you'll spend 90 or you can get four 20s and you'll spend, you know, 80 and have a little bit of change left over. I hope you enjoyed my choices. Let me know what you think about them in the comments and see what fragrances that you have. Let me know which fragrances you have that are like really well priced that you would put in this list. I'd love to hear from you. If you got anything out of this at all, please don't hesitate to love, like, share all those wonderful things. I'd love to have you on board please do subscribe. Until next time, I want you to take good care of yourself. Always smell nice and I will talk to you soon. Until then, Centrail.